We start this afternoon with a major announcement from the White House. President Obama has chosen federal prosecutor Loretta Lynch to be the next attorney general. Loretta doesn't look to make headlines. She looks to make a difference. She's not about splash. She is about substance. Uh, I could not be more confident that Loretta will bring her signature intelligence and passion and commitment to our key priorities, including uh, important reforms in our criminal justice system. She has consistently proven her leadership and earned the trust and respect of those she serves. Since 2010, she's been a member of the committee of the U.S. attorneys across the nation who advise the attorney general on matters of policy, and she has served as chair of that committee since 2013. So it's no wonder that the Senate unanimously confirmed her to be the head of the U.S. Attorney's Office in two separate situations, uh, once under President Clinton and once under my administration. Uh, and it's my hope that the Senate will confirm her a third time without delay. Mr. President, thank you again for the faith that you've placed in me. I pledge today to you and to the American people that if I have the honor of being confirmed by the Senate, I will wake up every morning with the protection of the American people, my first thought. And I will work every day to safeguard our citizens, our liberties, our rights, and this great nation, which has given so much to me and my family. I thank you again, Mr. President and Mr. Attorney General, and all of you for being here. Now, if confirmed, Lynch would replace outgoing Attorney General Eric Holder. She would also be the first African-American woman to hold the position. Now, the White House has said that it will leave it up to Senate leaders to work out a timeline for her confirmation, but urged leaders to do it as soon as possible.